well, I didn't know Cremona, I didn't know nothing. So it was a great, uh, it was, you know, it was a great place, okay? And, and the, the church and the whole situation is really like interesting. It's unique, come on, there's not that many. And not only that, there's, I mean, the fact that it's desacralized, there's a kind of tradition in art in churches. And, uh, and uh, it's, it's a really interesting situation. And of course, we know Servan and Jose and uh, Lorenzo. We met all this. We ate a lot. And, uh, and uh, then you had to do something. I had done a yellow wall that belongs to the National Gallery of Canada. There's somebody in France who has a yellow ceiling. And uh, I did actually a, a yellow floor already in a small gallery in, uh, in St. Louis in, in uh, Missouri. And, uh, but, uh, the, but then between Servan and, and I don't know, you know, there's a couple of options. I mean, we could have done something else, but, but uh, decided to do that. And of course, the, uh, Lorenzo and the whole forum enterprise, well, they did it. And, uh, and then uh, it was my pleasure to come and see something like that. I don't know if it's, uh, there's always a separation between the work and the person who, who you know, who decides what or something like that. So, so I, I see, I look at them, I look at the piece basically, and I'm kind of removed from that. It's not me. It's it's a piece, but the situation is interesting. I think that's well, an old story, but. Basically, when I was working in my studio or painting, when the painting is done, it became, it has its own identity, of course. And I don't, you know, the first painting were not even signed. They were something that exists and, and, and that you look at, basically. What can I say? I don't, first of all, I don't like to talk about my work. <laughs> That's one thing. And then, uh, and then uh, it's something to look at. And of course, it's, it's selfish because, you know, you. you you want to do something, you saw other people's paintings, you saw other people's situation, and then you, you, you do something and it has to be shown somewhere. It has to be, become like a social thing because then other people have to see it. And then you said, oh, this is what it is. And not only that, it takes some time to even realize what it actually is, what it says, and, uh, and, and then it keeps you going because after that you try to do something else. But here, it's a, you know, the, the space itself is, is that interesting that it's not easy to do something. You, you don't want to interfere with the space and at the same time. Uh, but but it, it worked because the fact that we put the piece on the floor means that the walls are there and they're in, in what they are and, you can, and that's something you can look at. Well, there, yeah, there, there was one a show in uh, Buffalo, in New York, and uh, it was a kind of a group show. And it's a very interesting museum because they have, you know, early Pollux and early de Kooning and, and early Roth. I mean, they both works really at the time when they were done. And, uh, and, and there was this group show and for some reason they sent me a picture of a wall with two columns. And they said, well, I don't know, there's a painting there, but it doesn't work so well. And you can feel that the room itself was done for sculpture. And I said, well, the only thing you could do would be a, a wall painting, thinking about it. Soluit and things like that. And then they said, yeah, yeah, we would be interested. And for some reason I said, uh, uh, maybe you can just do a yellow wall. And uh, even they said, what kind of yellow? I said, well, I don't know, like, uh, like a lemon or something. And, uh, and uh, that's what they did. Uh, I don't know exactly what, I mean, blue is, you know, you have people like Yves Klein, there's a kind of quality in the blue. Uh, and, uh, and, uh, and, and of course, there's also tradition Sir Lewitt who does like, you know, wall drawings, he called them. And actually somebody asked him, he said, oh, you invented wall drawing. And he said, well, there's people in caves, you know, a long time ago, and then there's frescoes and, and, and yeah, so. But here, it just happened that way. It, it's something else because it's actually a painting on a stretcher, which is on the floor. And that, you know, I never did that, so. That, that's something, and I guess it happened between the conversation with Savan and Lorenzo could do that, the way he could do it. So that's, but I, I, something I discovered in a way. It happened through the, the process and the, the 
So uh, yeah, there's something interesting. You could put a, you know, the idea to put a painting on the floor was was not only that. There's there's a there's a tradition of working on paintings flat, like uh, Mondrian would paint flat on on, on the table, uh, a dry knot, and of course Jackson Pollock was painting on the floor. So uh, and, and other people did that. So so uh, I don't know. Uh, you know, I, they did it, so, uh, but for me, I mean, my, basically my work here is to look at the, the piece. I mean, early, early on there was also a criticism of what painting could be, like, when, it, when you know, there's criticism of the market, which is not what a painting is, of the, the original, uh, the, 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 the fact that it's original, we repeat a thing, and, uh, and, 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 and you try to try things a little bit off. Even this, I mean, you know, the size. Here it's special because of the, the condition of the space itself, but the relation to the space always exists. And uh, the relationship between a painting in society is also something that I'm interested in. And there's a history and then you can see things and, and, and figure it out. And uh, in a way, I mean, compared to this history, this is pretty modern, I would say in paintings, but, but you can do some other things. And uh, we, we try to, there's also a generation I was interested, like minimal art, and, uh, and uh, they, basically for Judd or Bob Morris and things like that, they wanted, they said you can't do painting anymore. So they, they were off, you had to, there had to be three, and I, I did three, three, you know, like sculptures and stuff like that, but uh, you can still do paintings. And of course here, it's also interesting because it's in between. Some people say, well, this is a sculpture or something like that. But uh, for me, it's also a painting. And, and you know, it's, it's Bob Ryman who told me once, that it's not what you do, it's how you do it. And that's what you see. And here, I think it's, yeah, I'm impressed by the way it was done.